what's up guys and welcome back to pkg or if you're new here welcome to the channel my name is evan and uh, today is episode two of the uh megas video uh, what we think the mega pokemon will be for the new uh legends game coming out um these are more just the gen 2 mons that i think um you can agree or disagree but i think these are the ones that kind of need it um, or ones that I believe should get one based off of just a, their stats or their design or whatever it may be. Um, there's not a whole lot today. The Gen 1 video that I made, there was a lot of them. So this one will probably be a little bit shorter. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below and uh, what mods that you would like to see as well. So uh, yeah, but here we go. Uh, number one that I think should get a mega which i think a lot of people would agree with is lantern um lantern great typing i really like lantern just as a pokemon the design and all that stuff i think the ability with uh volt observe is super helpful for it but i also just find it can be a little underwhelming based off of just its stats as well as its capabilities um so i would definitely pick lantern i'd probably either keep vault absorb just because it is useful for him or give it the ability drizzle just that way um it can have those electrical taps or it can have thunder um with the 100 accuracy with it and it would obviously boost its water type attacks um for its base stat total um obviously we go up to 560 because its original is 460 um, I mainly put his stats into the HP special attack and its special defense. Everything else kind of was just a generic buff, but HP was a big one for me. I wanted him to still remain quite tanky. Um, but yeah, that, that one's kind of more a generic stat line increase, but I thought it deserved one, and I think they could have some really cool designs with that. Uh, next one, I also think this is one that people would agree with, is Sudowoodo. Um, with this one being a Pokemon that is, it looks like it should be a grass type, but it's a rock type. Um, I think it'd be really cool if they gave it a grass type, um, being a rock grass type, there's only three Pokemon that have that typing. It's Ogre Pond. If you give it the rock mask and then the leap and Cradily, um, or Cradily, I don't know how other people would pronounce that, but, uh, I think it'd be really cool if we got another Pokemon of that typing. Um, I'd probably keep Rockhead as an ability for this one just because it has so many recoiling moves it could have. So like Head Smash and Woodhammer. And especially now that Woodhammer would become Stab, I think that would be even more useful for it. Um, Stat-wise, it would become 510. Um, I put a lot of boost into its attack and defense. Its defense is already one of, I think it's its highest, stat, highest stats. Um but those would definitely be the higher ones. Um, special attack and speed, I left the same at 30. Um, special defense, I boosted quite a bit. I wanted to kind of get a little bit more tankiness from it. But definitely still more of an increase for its attack and its physical defense in that one. Um, my next one. This one is an interesting one. I had a lot of fun with this. And I think it could be really, really fun to play with. Um, Fortress. Um, I've always really liked Fortress. Um, I think it gets overlooked a little bit just because in Gen 2 there was also Scizor that was that bug steel typing. Um, it's tanky, it's really, really great for hazards and setup and all that kind of thing. So what I've done is kept it as a steel bug type, but I've created a new ability for it. Um, I called it hazardous or whatever they could call it, but when it gets hit by an attack, it releases um a, a random hazard so spikes toxic spikes sticky web stealth rock or or whatever it may be um i i also the thing is though is i feel like that would be a physical attack thing um i know his his stats he's all all physical defense so it might be hard if he gets hit by a special defensive move i was considering maybe even with that ability it's you release a random hazard but it also boosts special defense. That way it kind of has a little bit more of a defense with that. Like if you were to say be in a, in a battle, a competitive setting, and 
you know that they're going to use a physical attack, you could swap Fortress out, or so, sorry, swap him in, take that physical attack, sets up an automatic hazard right off the bat there, and you might get a boost, or even if you don't get a boost, you set up a hazard right there. So you could kind of play along with that and get some strategy to go with it. So I thought that would be a fun little thing that they could add. Um, for its stats, um, I I actually had, I had a little bit of fun with its stats here. I boosted his defenses, but I also made his special defense crazy high. So with its ability, you could you could just negate that special defense part um, if you were to do this with its stats. But I made his defense and special defense 150 for both, kind of like a shuckle, I guess. But I wanted him to be able to just tank every single attack and get those hazards out as fast as possible. Um its attack is about a 90, special attack 50, its speed is super low, still at a 35. But I wanted this thing to be able to take as many hits as it could, get those hazards out, and just make it as like competitive and as good as it possibly can. Um, my next one that I would like to see, and I'm sure a lot of people would also agree with this one, uh, it would be Grand Bowl. Um, I would add the dark typing so it's very dark. And the reason why I did that is because it has moves like crunch. Um, so I wanted to kind of give it more of that stab um, ability with, I also just think you could come up with a lot of cool designs with that because it's it's already pretty intimidating. And I know it became like a fairy typing. And I know when I heard that at first, I was kind of, it kind of surprised me. Um, it just doesn't seem like a fairy typing. So I, I feel like if you added the dark typing to it, it could become really, really cool and a little bit more versatile. I also can't off the top of my head, think of a lot of fairy dark types, if there even is one. I'm sure there is, and I'm just forgetting. But I just thought that would be a cool um, thing you could add to it. I would also give it the ability Strong Jaw. Um, I definitely think it needs it. It has so many um, jaw attacks or, like, fang attacks. So, like, the Ice Fang, Thunder Fang, Fire Fang, those ones. It also, like I said, Crunch, stuff like that. So I think that would be a huge help for that. Um, stat wise, uh, it would raise his base stat total to 550. Um, I gave him a huge attack buff to 150. I want this thing to hit super, super hard. Um, but all of his other stats are pretty generic. Um, HP is 100, but then from there, it's like defense 90, special attack 70, special defense 80, and speed is 60. So it's it's really one of those megas that it's like, okay. I'm going to Mega Evolve, and I'm just going to go full force. I'm going to use an attack that is just going to absolutely destroy this guy and maybe get a couple other guys, maybe getting a sweep if you can get some sort of speed boost for it. But I just really want this guy to be a little bit more viable and hit a little bit harder, especially with the design that they have for him. So I think you could have some fun with that. Um, The next one for, for me would be Kingdra. Now, I know Kingdra is already a pretty cool... Um, pretty viable Pokemon. Um, the typing water dragon is awesome. It has very little weaknesses to go with that. And I, I don't, I think you could add something to it because it's not a pseudo legendary necessarily, but I think it could get a little bit more because I, 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 I feel like it, it almost could be, if that makes sense. Um, uh, so I left it as a water dragon type. But I gave it, uh, it could either have Mega Launcher or Drizzle. Um, I thought those would be good because Mega Launcher, kind of like Clawitzer, I think it has like a decent move pool that could go along with that. And you could even add some more moves that would go along with that ability and just kind of give it a more variety around Mega Launcher. Um, Drizzle was also a big one that I thought would be super helpful for it because it does get a huge boost for those water type attacks. And then uh, I can't remember if it get. I don't think it gets ability for uh, Hurricane. Probably not, but that would be a really cool thing to add for it to get that kind of a versatility with that attack. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think having um, Drizzle or Mega Launcher would be super, super productive either way. Sorry, I'm just looking at it, looking it up really quick, see if it does get a Hurricane. Doesn't look like it, but I think that would be really cool if they gave it that ability to do that. Um, but yeah, 
Mega Launcher or Drizzle would be super helpful. Probably, I'd probably go Mega Launcher more than anything because I think it has Sniper usually. Um, yeah, Sniper or Swift Swim. Both of those are already good abilities if you can get them working in the proper way, but I think we can grow off of Sniper and give it Mega Launcher and go from there. Uh, stats, um, it would go up to a 640. I <laughs> What I did is I made... Because I it's primarily a special attack Pokemon, but I boosted its stats where his attack and his special attack both went up to 125. Um, the reason for that is even though most of his moves are special, he does have quite a few physical attacks that it gets an option for. So like it has outrage scale shot, um breaking swipe liquidation waterfall like you an iron head like there's there's a little bit more versatility that you could give it um and if you did give it more moves to kind of match the ability you could definitely feed off a little bit more with that um and then its defenses both of them would be 110 hp is pretty basic at 80 and its speed is a 90 but you don't necessarily have to put a lot of points into the physical attack. I just thought it'd be really cool if you could just play around with that and just make him a super versatile attacker in that way. But yeah, uh, my last one here, it's like Fortress. I had a lot of fun thinking about this one. Um, Meg Cargo. There's two ways I could go with this one. Either eliminating the rock type and making it solo fire type. or taking rock type away and making it a fire steel type. Now, I'll talk about just the mono fire types first. The reason why I thought this would be a cool idea, it could kind of be this, this concept where it's, it's rock shell has kind of broken and now it's just exuding a lot of fire. Um, and the fire on its back, like where the shell was, it's still in that shape of the shell, but now it's just like everywhere. Um, and the reason for that, I thought it would be really, really cool was because now it can go from that slow defensive Pokemon to all of a sudden, like now it's, it's gained a lot more speed. It's got a lot more attacks. So like, or a lot more special attack stat because he is primarily a special attacker. Um, I know a lot of the rock type moves are physical. So I think kind of eliminating um, the physical aspect of the May cargo and just really making it special attacker all the way could be really cool. And then I would give it the ability Drought because a lot of the abilities that he has right now are kind of based off of being that sturdy, defensive, rock-type Pokemon, a little bit more withdrawn kind of thing. Um, but I I, I think Drought would be, make sense because as the shell breaks, he's fire everywhere and it, it, it becomes hot. Um, boosting that fire type would be really, really good for him. Um, now, the other way I would do that is the steel typing, like I was saying. Um, and with this one, really hammering down on the defensive stuff. So with just being a solo fire type attacker, I, I put its defenses down and boosted its special attack to 130 and put its speed up to 90. With the steel type one, I boosted his attack up to 100 and his special attack to 100 to keep them even. That way with having the steel typing and the fire typing and then rock type availability, he could have a pretty even playing field with both physical and special type attacks. And the main reason I did that is because if you look at his move pool, even though he doesn't have a whole lot of steel type attacks, gyro ball is on there. And so I kept his speed super, super low at a 30. And I thought gyro ball would be super, super helpful. I keep saying super, super, um, I thought it'd be helpful because he's a slow, I'll, I would keep his stats or his speed stat at 30, keeping him slow. Um, that way gyro ball would hit a little bit harder and you get more attack stat to hit it even better. Um, I gave him a little bit more survivability as well. Um, so his defense, I boosted it up to a 150, which I think it was a 130 before or something around that. Um, but I gave it a huge defensive buff because obviously it's going from just rock to steel. Um, so that way it's able to take more hits because it is slower. It needs to be able to take a hit. Then you could use something that hits a little bit hard with a decent uh, attacker special attack 
move with a hundred base or with a hundred stat total for each of those. And you could, you could still hit it with decent damage. Um, for the ability for that one, I couldn't, it was tough because I found there was a few abilities that could work for it. Um, I was thinking heavy metal because then you could give it maybe, um, broaden its move pool, maybe give it like heavy slam or something like that and kind of give it more attacks that allow it to fit with its mega. Um, I would give it flash fire. So if you look at heat ran being, I believe is the only other fire steel type, there might be another one that I'm forgetting as well, but he has flash fire. And I think that's quite helpful because even though fire is neutral against it, it's, it really negates um, that, that uh <laughs> for people to use fire type attacks it, against it it's another defensive aspect that you could use um with it and that would that would just be super helpful with the ability that flash fire offers um the other one shell armor um that one again just because this shell is becoming a steel typing you could negate those critical hits and because the defense is super super high now um they aren't going to be able to crit you. So you can just take those hits way, way better. Um, and then that way you're not going to get totally run over if they do have a high crit chance. Um, now, if, if you were to look at Meg Cargo, when he does evolve, he learns Shell Smash. Um Even though with the Steel and Fire type, if it was to have shell smash um to boost the speed and attack stats and stuff where you lower your defenses it would still be helpful for my cargo because even though his defenses are super high if you lower it a bit and gain the physical damages more you could kind of gain more out of it so i think having a shell armor or flash fire still having those defensive abilities would help and then on top of that i also thought another ability that would be helpful would be stamina um stamina is an ability where if you get hit your defense is raised so again just making him even more tanky then you could use some more shell smashes and then it just kind of piles on from there obviously the only downfall for this would be um it would keep its four times four times weakness to ground and it would gain um a little bit more weaknesses but then it would also lose the four times water weakness and I, I i don't know i think it changes it up pretty nicely um especially just because i i think he needs a mix-up i find the fire rock typing there's a lot more um stuff going on with that like in my last video i said golem could become a uh, a fire rock type colossals a fire rock type i think it would be kind of cool if we transitioned away from it and made it a fire steel type um so yeah there's two ways i think you can go with, on with that i know i talked a lot about meg cargo as a whole but i think you could go either getting rid of the shell making it fast and hit much harder really hammering down on that or going it, into the more of the defensive side giving them an ability where it's like stamina or sh shell armor or something like that to help even better its defenses or give it a wider move pool to match that steel typing and giving it heavy metal something along the lines like that um but yeah so that's that's my primary list a couple honorary mentions that i wanted to say i just couldn't really come up with a way that made sense in my head even though like i'm sure other people have a lot better options to go with with these guys um but i said sunflora quagsire and octillery Sunflora was tough because I would love to make it a, a grass fire type, um, but its move pool has nothing to do with fire typing. Um, you could use like a concept where obviously it has sunny day, or you can maybe give it drought or keep one of its like chlorophyll abilities and just have to use sunny day on its own. Um, and then maybe it has like, you give it like weather ball or um, just maybe giving it some more fire type attacks into that move pool that way it can kind of become a little bit more versatile in that way but just looking at it right now it didn't seem um super beneficial um to try to make a mega out of it but i think it would be really cool i would love to see it 
Uh, second one, Quagsire. Um, great typing. It's just it, it, it's kind of unfortunate that Swampert kind of like overshadows him. But I know people love Quagsire. I think he's fun. Um, I remember playing Pokemon Coliseum using him. Super, super fun. Super cute. Super derpy. I love it. Um, but he did just get a regional. And I just, I just think it's one of those things where it's like Pokemon that are getting those regionals and stuff don't really need an extra thing on top. So I just, it would be cool, but I left it. Um, and the last one, Octillery, um, I think it's kind of a similar concept to um, Kingdra. I would maybe, you could make it like a water steel type and just really hammer down on these moves like the beam moves and the cannons and the pulses and maybe giving it mega launcher, same concept, or keeping sniper or giving it a new ability that it just it hammers down on the beam attacks because it can learn a lot of attacks like that, like Aurora beam, Psy beam, Ice beam, and you just give it a new ability where it's like any move that um, is a beam attack boosts its attacks or like hits it even harder but there's a lot of different ways you could go with those guys it's just i found the other ones I, I i could make a little bit more out of it so but yeah let me know what you think i know i kind of rambled on a little bit and apparently my favorite word is super um but yeah let me know what you think in the comments below if you would change it up maybe different abilities or if there's a gen 2 pokemon that you want that is your favorite and you just love to see what they could do with it but uh, that's just kind of my opinion and thoughts. So don't don't harsh on me too bad. Um, but yeah, give a like, subscribe. Um, at the time of filming this, we are so close to a thousand subs, um, which is super exciting. We didn't even think we would get there. Um, we were aiming for the end of the year, but here we are not even halfway through the year. We're almost there. So yeah, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the next video. See you later.